Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we have seen how acid and bases reacted with metals, metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates. We also had a look on how acid and bases reacted with each other. So now we are going to see another important property of acids. Now how acid reacts with metallic oxides, we are going to see this only here. Now this type of reactions are double displacement reaction. In this case, the oxygen from the metallic oxides will go and combine with the hydrogen and the remaining all will combine with each other. Like if we see an example of copper oxide and hydrochloric acid. Now the oxygen will go and combine with hydrogen to form water and the remaining copper and chloride will combine to form copper chloride. Now this is of light green color. So you can see that we got copper oxide and HCl which resulted in the formation of salt and water. So what we can conclude from this? We have seen in the acid and bases reaction that when acid and bases reacted, we got salt and water. In the similar way, now we can say that the metallic oxides combine with the acids to form salt and water. So we can say that the metallic oxides are basic in nature. That is the reason they are also called as basic oxides. Now let's see how non-metallic oxides react with bases. Unlike metallic oxides, non-metallic oxides are acidic in nature. Now I guess you will be understanding this very clearly. Now what will happen if non-metallic oxides react with bases? And if you are thinking it will give salt and water, then bingo, you are right. You are going in the right direction. Non-metallic oxides react with bases to form salt and water. Let's understand this by example. If we take calcium hydroxide reacting with carbon dioxide, we get calcium carbonate and water. Now we know that calcium hydroxide is a base. Carbon dioxide is a non-metallic oxide, calcium carbonate is a salt and water. So you see non-metallic oxides when react with bases, they give salt and water. Now we have seen all the chemical properties of acid and bases. We have seen the differences how acid reacted differently and how bases. Now we are going to see in the next video what do all acid and bases have in common.